Hello Ross developers and welcome to the Ross questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Ross, this is your channel. Ross navigation, Ross with drones, Ross for autonomous cars, everything Ross is here. Learn Ross step by step and push your Ross learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking a question I found in the Ross answers forum, which is this one. Uh, he says, unable to use data received in callback function. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now, yes, let's start with the video. So, as I've said, we are going to be checking this uh, question here. which say, He says, hi, I am receiving data in a callback function using a class but I can use data in main function. Any solutions? And he posts here his example code. So yeah, we are going to be checking uh, this code to see what's going on here. It's a C++ code. So for that, let's go to RDS, to ROSDS as always. And we are going to create a ROS object and try to, to build an example to test this. So Let's create here a new project, which I'm going to call, um, I don't know, callback, callback test. Let's create here our uh, project and let's open it. Wait a few seconds until the environment is fully loaded. There we have it, great. So now let's open a shell, let's open an IDE as well. And yeah, let's create our package. So Katkin create package, uh, callback test, which depends on raw CPP because it's C++ code. Okay. There we have it, great. Now here, let's create a new file. Callback uh, code.cpp. And let's paste this here. So copy and paste. Okay, so basically uh, we will need to modify some things because here he's using some special messages that we don't have here, of course. But basically it's very simple. So what he's doing is to, he has this server class, then he's defining here his chatter callback where he uh, receives this state array message and he, store it, he stores it here in, in the total objects variable. And then uh, here, He's subscribing to a topic where this message is published and uh, he tries to print it here, yeah? But there are some, some things here that we are going to, to check right now. So first of all, let's uh, do a couple of modifications here. So we are not going to use any of these to start. Let's use something more simple. Let's simplify this example. So let's use integers. Here, so instead of these messages, we are going to be using uh, integers instead of this state array message. There we go. Standard messages int 32. And then here, the int 32 only has the data variable here. Uh, this is an int, okay. Then uh, here, Okay, I think this can be left like this. We don't need, to, oh no, here we, let's change the topic name to, I don't know, test topic, for instance. Yeah, then let's try to compile this. So let's come here to the build section. Okay, so let's, uh, okay, here we have the dependencies. Let's name this, uh, I don't know, callback note. For instance, we are going to call our executable like this. Here as well. 
let's call this callback node and this is uh, let's callback code cpp code cpp and uh, like oh, yeah here and finally let's remove as well this and callback note okay so i think we have it callback note uh, okay this goes here and uh, callback note callback code callback note callback note okay yeah i think that's it so let's try to compile this meanwhile i'm going to start a simulation as well in order to have our raw score running to be able to test uh, this code so let's put here a bb8 it doesn't matter i just want the raw score okay so let's see if this compiles <coughs> Okay, so this has compiled uh, okay. Now let's open another shell now here. And uh, yeah, here we have the simulation already. It's loading the meshes and everything. Okay, so now what we are going to do is to straight away test uh, the code as it is. So without any modification, let me close this. Uh, and see what happens here, what's going on. So let's run the code. Callback test, uh, callback node. And now, what we are going to do is to publish directly into the, it was called test topic, right? Test topic, yeah. Into the test topic, let's publish Yeah. Oh, sorry. Was the big pop, of course. Um. Okay. Let's publish a five, for instance. Okay. Nothing happens here. Yeah. So apparently we are publishing a message here into the callback, uh, number five. But we are not uh, able to print this through these couts here. We are not seeing it. So it looks like it's not working. But uh, let's see one thing. Let's see what happens if I now close here my program. As you can see here, appears a 5. Yeah? This is uh, uh, strange. It's co coincidence? No, it isn't. Let's uh, do one thing here. Let's add right after the spin, pass it spin. Let's add this here. Let's compile again. And run again the code. Publish again a uh, five or uh, let's change the number. Let's put a a seven now. And let's close this our program. And as you can see here now we have the spin, the pass it spin and the seven published. So actually, the problem here is not that uh, you cannot. You, the problem is it's not that you can't use the data in the main function. So you can't access the data and you can use it as you can see because you are here using the 7, yes? The problem is that your, pro your program is uh, stopped here in the spin, yeah? Here, 
you can have a look here to to the what uh, this uh, spin does yeah here you have it so rose spin as you can see will not return until the node has been shut down yeah so basically your program your program is hanging here in this line here yeah it's waiting here and well uh, every time something is published into this topic this callback function gets called and this total objects variable gets updated with the value but your program your main function is still stuck here so anything you put under this won't be executed which is this case until uh, I manually shut down the program and then this goes out and this gets printed and this gets uh, printed as well yeah so you are actually uh, accessing your your value but your program is getting stuck here yeah so for instance you could change this for a loop a simple loop let's do that very quickly so for instance let's put here a while a ros okay let's add this here Mm, let's remove this and let's also add um, a rate in order to control this this loop so ROS rate loop rate F1 for instance and uh, here Uh, let's call this loop rate to sleep and also we will add here a spin once okay there we go so basically now we have uh, removed the spin and uh, this code will go as follows so it will generate the subscriber and then it will come here and while the program is running so while I don't shut down the program this loop will be executed at a rate of 1 hertz, as you can see here. And, uh, well, basically the, the value in this total objects variable will be printed. Yeah? So let's try this. Let's compile. Let's compile again. There we go. Let's source this. And let's run our code. So here I start getting zeros printed because it's the current value of this total objects uh, variable. Yeah. Now let's publish here something. Let's publish a um, a four, for instance. And now I will start getting here the four, as you can see. And I can change uh, to another number. Let's publish a nine. And here it will get uh, uh, changed to the nine value. Yeah. So as you can see, the problem was uh, is not that you cannot access your variable, but the problem was with the structure of your program. Yeah, with this ROS spin that you have here, which is blocking your main from continuing on to uh, executing these lines. Yeah. So yeah, that's all for the video of today. I hope you have learned something new. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. And either you liked the video or not, feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments area below. We are going to try to check them and answer them. And yeah, see you in the next video. Goodbye.